नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एंड लाइटनिंग टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव नारद इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन श्रीमद भागवतम फॉर व्यास देव और फर्स्ट आर डोक्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव उच्चिष्ट लेपान नुपोदित द्विजय सकृत्म भुंजे तदपास्त किश एवं प्रवृत्त विशुद्ध चेतस तदधर्म एवात्म रुचि प्रजाते once only by their permission i took the remnants of their food and by doing so all my sins were at once eradicated thus being engaged i became purified in heart and at that time the very nature of the transcendentalist became attractive to me pure devotion is as much infectious in a good sense as infectious diseases a pure devotee is cleared from all kinds of sins The personality of Godhead is the purest entity, and unless one is equally pure from the infection of material qualities, one cannot become a pure devotee of the Lord. The Bhakti Vedantas, as above mentioned, were pure devotees, and the boy became infected with the qualities of purity by their association and by eating once the remnants of the food stuff taken by them. Such remnants may be taken even without permission of the pure devotees. There are sometimes pseudo devotees, and one should be very much cautious about them. There are many things which hinder one from entering devotional service. But by the association of pure devotees, all these obstacles are removed. The neophyte devotee becomes practically enriched with the transcendental qualities of the pure devotee, which means attraction for the personality of Godhead's name, fame, qualities, pastimes, etc. infection of the qualities of the pure devotee means to imbibe the taste of pure devotion always in the transcendental activities of the personality of godhead this transcendental taste at once makes all material things this tasteful therefore a pure devotee is not at all attracted by material activities after the elimination of all sins or obstacles on the path of devotional service one can become attracted one can have steadiness one can have proper taste one can have transcendental emotions and at last one can be situated on the plane of loving service of the lord all these stages develop by the association of pure devotees and that is the purport of this stanza text 26 tatran vah krishna katha pragayata manugrahena shrunvam manohara ताह श्रद्धया मे अनुपदम विश्रुणवत प्रियश्रव स्यंग मुचि ओ व्यासदेव इन दैट असोसिएशन एंड बाय द मर्सी ऑफ दोज ग्रेट वेदांतिस्ट आई कुड यर देम डिस्क्राइब द अट्रैक्टिव एक्टिविटीज ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंड दस लिस्निंग अटेंटिवली माय टेस्ट फॉर यरिंग फॉर द personality of godhead increased at every step lord sri krishna the absolute personality of godhead is attractive not only in his personal features but also in his transcendental activities it is so because the absolute is absolute by his name fame form pastimes et tu rich paraphernalia etc the lord descends on this material world out of his causeless mercy and displays his various transcendental pastimes as a human being so that human beings attracted towards him become able to go back to godhead men are naturally apt to hear histories and narrations of various personalities performing mundane activities without knowing that by such association one simply wastes valuable time and also becomes addicted to the three qualities of mundane nature instead of wasting time one can get spiritual success by turning his attention to the transcendental pastimes of the lord by hearing the narration of the pastimes of the lord one contacts directly the personality of godhead as explained before by hearing about the personality of godhead from within all accumulated sins of the mundane creature are cleared thus being cleared of all sins the hearer gradually becomes liberated from mundane association and becomes attracted to the features of the lord narad muni has just explained this by his personal experience the whole idea is that simply by hearing about the lord's past times one can become one of the associates of the lord Narad Muni has eternal life, unlimited knowledge, and unfathomable bliss, and he can travel all over the material and spiritual worlds without restriction. One can attain to the highest perfection of life simply by attentive hearing of the trans.
transcendental pastimes of the Lord from the right sources as Sri Narad heard him from the pure devotees Bhakti Vedantas in his previous life. This process of hearing in the association of the devotees is especially recommended in this age of Kali. Hare Krishna. 